Welcome back. Today we're going to do an old school fly that is just an absolute money minnow pattern. This is called a Thunder Creek. Um, this, this fly is kind of popularized by a guy in Wisconsin, Keith Folger, I think is how you say it. Um, I think it was originally a Kerry Stevens pattern, a saltwater pattern back in the 30s, but I started tying these when I was a kid in, in the 70s. It's, it's been, it's, I'm going to do a, a modified, modified version of it today, kind of a, a synthetic style, but I'm going to show you how to do both of them. But it's a, this is a really, it's a fishy fly, and it's super simple to tie. It's got, a, it's got basic, very basic uh, materials to it. I'm uh, going to tie it on a 70-50 ring eye. Uh, and, you know, and I always did tie this on a ring eye because of the way that the, the uh, head's shaped. It's just a lot easier than using a down eye. So it's going to have a ring eye hook. And like I said, it's super, super basic. In the day when we did them, uh, we did everything on a bucktail. So there was no, there was no, uh, oh, wrong side. What we, basically, when I first started doing them, we did basically all uh, dace patterns. So it was white, brown, black, or white, black, brown. And so we'd pull all of it out of this thing because I didn't have money to buy a bunch of tails. But so we could get everything out of it. I'm going to do the modified. So, but anyway, it's going to be, <clears throat> it's going to be the hooks a, a 70-50 mylar body, extra large, uh, extra large. What I'm using it builds faster. And then we're going to use angel hair uh, for the actual top wing. This stuff, and, and I absolutely love this stuff. This is going to have a two-tone. That's all we're going to put in it. And that's what makes it so fast and super simple to tie. But the thing I like about this, about the angel hair, it's got, it's a consistency, but man, it just comes in like a bajillion colors. And it's, it's just fun to tie with this thing. I mean, it, this one's got two, I've got the polar ice and the uh, olive brown on this one, but you could do like a stripe with a, and making little minnow patterns, right? Or, or like when you start getting into your, uh, like out here, we got a ton of whitefish, and your juvenile whitefish has got a really bright belly. It's kind of a whitey silver, and then it's got a, a hue of purple down it, right? And then it's kind of a darker gray band. It's so easy to blend these things. It's just, it's fast, it's easy, it's inexpensive, the stuff's cheap, and, it's, and it comes in this hank like this, so you get a ton of it. But anyway, uh, it's, a, it's a super fast fly. It's a super easy fly. I tied one yesterday and screwed it up, so I redid the video, but because uh, it was had a serious suck factor and so we, we redid it but what you can see here on this is how easy this is how, what the the silhouette we're going to get and how easy it is to build you can see it when i pull it tight like that it's really it's so minnowish and this and, and if any of you are saltwater people this is a great glass minnow it's got a it's got so many applications if you just if you just let it roll a little bit. Just kind of use your imagination. Find your bait fish. Find out what you're use, what you're using. You know what you're imitating, and it's it's just a super easy fit and and super fishy. This thing just swims like crazy. So I'm gonna I've got a number two uh, 7050 here GSP 100. I forgot to say that. So I'm just gonna start. Doesn't really matter where you start your thread. We're gonna cover this all up. On this fly, I have. This is one of the few, on most of the flies I say I go to the gouge. On this fly, uh, I don't know why, but I always started it, and I'm just, you know, a lot of this is just habit. I always started it at the point. I didn't go all the way back. I left the, the, the hook shank uh, back here open. I don't, it gets covered up. So I'm not sure if it would matter. I'm guessing it won't. So I'm just gonna wrap this nice, smooth. When you, I'm wrapping, this is mylar. And it's, you know, with mylar, you've got a gold side and a silver side. So when you tie it in, have the gold face in you so that, and when you tip it over, you'll get an, you'll crease it and have silver is what I'm going for. It doesn't, if you're going to tie something that's, if you, you know, whatever color, it's just, this is just what I've always used. Just making a nice clean thread wrap here, right to the eye. And flip that over. Get one good two. I like to do that. You can watch it. You can actually see it stretch. I stretch that first one so it's nice and tight. And then just kind of haul through it uh, right to the eye. And 
get right to the eye and everything that's going to be that's really critical on this fly you have to get everything's going to be tied in right at that eye um, don't worry about you're going to go back over this first time in history I broke my thread third time if you're caping for this year that's a uh, I said a sharp spot in that hook. <clears throat> so now we're going to tie in, and this is, we're going to do two, I've got one ready to go on the other side there. We're going to do this with hair, and we're going to have hair, and then we're going to have hair, and then we're going to have our synthetic and our synthetic. And the thing about this fly is it's just, you have to, when you look at it, the last thing you see, the top of your fly, no matter what it is, and if you're going to do it all hair, the last thing you see, it has to be the first thing you put on. So you kind of, you have to tie it backwards because we're going to fold this stuff over. And so I've got a little, I had a little bucktail here. I was tying one before we started. So I'm going to go in here and you just kind of, this is just what you want to see. How long, you, I'm just going to use as much bucktail as I've got. And the longest hair I had is right here. So I'm going to come in here. Don't worry about, you, you know, just cutting these ends off right now. Just go ahead and, and get it here. And turn it upside down if you want and tie it in. Give yourself one, two turns. Okay, you can see what I've got here. And you gotta, you just have to kind of decide how long you want the head. So, you know, this, I'm gonna end up right about here. But before you go forward here, and this is what makes a really clean fly with this thing, make sure that this is nice and flared out evenly right here because we're gonna fold it over. So if you've got a big clump on one side and you, and you go to fold it over and it's empty on the other side, it just looks like crap. So just come in here and now just make nice, clean, progressive wraps coming back and just come back here. And again, this is completely up to you how far you want that. Just let it taper back. Just trim the excess here. And now before you move on, I'm going to point that so you can see it. I want to see I want to see this nice and smooth right here, right? There's there's just it's nicely rolled all the way around the hood. So you look at it from this side, you can see. Now just come right back up, go right to the eye, and that's what I was saying is that if you you, you go back to the eye every time because if you don't, when you go to fold this over, there's going to have like a big shank sticking out the front and look like not so good. So, because we're doing, like I said, back to that, we're going to do it, this is a three-tone fly. I'm going to have bucktail, I'm going to have synthetic and synthetic. The top one is this olive brown uh, angel hair. And I want this one, this one we want long, because we don't want to, you don't want to fight this. And so I'm just, I'm going to take, and you can always trim, unlike hair, you can trim this synthetic stuff and you leave it long. Leave, you know, just waste a little bit on this one in particular and you'll see what I mean when I tie this in but I want it to be longer than the hair itself because it's easier for me to get it out of the way when I try to wrap it and get a nice clean finish to it so I'll come in here and the same thing holds true here and it, by the way I like to wet that stuff just to keep it when you do that it keeps it from getting entwined in the hairs it's almost impossible not to get one or two stuck in these things because there's going to be a bunch of them hanging out here. But you can see how much longer it is than the, than the actual bucktail, right? And so if you get it damp and it gets in there, it doesn't get hung up as we tie it in. So just keep this one kind of tight on the top and kind of in a clump because it's just going to be the highlighter. It's not going to, we're not going to spread this out as much as the other ones. So just same thing. Get out of the way. <clears throat> Come back here. Trim that off. Just you know, see an burden here, here, there. So make sure that the key to this one, though, is that you keep that longer so it doesn't get hung up, hung up in there. So now I'm going to take, and I don't really have a ratio for this, but I would say it's probably twice as thick as the one that I'm, the one I just put on. Maybe, maybe even a little bit bigger. And so this one's going to be each time we do this, I'm going to, I'm going to start measuring now. And so I'm going to come in here and by measuring, I'm going to take this hair and I'd want it to be slightly longer than the, the first bucktail I put on because I want it to, I want it to taper up from the bottom towards the longest hair. And again, you get to trim this. You, you, this isn't like 
if you're using regular bucktail, there's no trim in it because it looks like you, you want the points. It looks bad if you do. But this one you get to trim. So you're just getting a, a basic idea. Come in here. So it's a little bit longer than that. I'm going to trim those really crazy ones because, again, especially with these synthetics, if, if you leave them and they're really long and they get entwined in this other one, and I keep that, I keep that moist always so it doesn't get hung up. And it just, it just stops from that stuff getting hung in itself. So now I can come in here, I know where it's at. I just cut it from the bottom. Don't, don't let that, you, you'll get a full second wing out of this stuff because it's pretty, that's a really long hang. So you can get a full second wing. So just trim it clean right there. Whoops, let me get back here. And give this, make sure that's nice and tight. I'm gonna come in here and now I'm going to do the same thing I did with the, with the uh, bucktail. I'm going to make sure that this lays nice and flat. I want you to see something. Uh, I'll make sure that we get a good close-up of this. I want you to see that there's a two-tone effect. I've got white, I've got the white uh, bucktail. And you can see this, this nice cheek is what I'm trying to imitate. Uh, it's this nice silver cheek right there. And then his head's got the dark spot on the thing on the top. So I want to make sure right now that that's flattened out nicely and then just come back in and again just we're just back and forth back and forth. So nice but you see how tight I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of reefing on it and I just did something right there that I, I don't want you to do. I, I let that wrap around my don't do that because it'll it'll just get hung up in there and it'll, it'll start looking bad. So just be careful when you go around that and Take a good look. I, I, I like to see that go all the way around the side. If it's not, right now, back it off and just stick your thumbnail into it and just, just squeeze it so it's nice and tight. And again, right when you get to that eye, reef on it. Tighten it down because when you start pulling it back, you don't want it to be migrating. So the last thing I'm going to put on there, first on, you know, last off, just one more thing of bucktail. This bucktail is pretty well... We're getting to the end of this one. Pull it off to the side, straighten your tips up. And this one's kind of a, this one has, it, it's a little bit of a filler, but it's also, I, it just, it bulks the head up just slightly. That's, that's probably as important as it is for the actually showing in the fly itself. So I'm just using the longest hairs I've got. You see how much I've got there. <clears throat> Come in here. Right at the eye. So you, you, this is your last chance right here is to make sure it's, all right, it's right at the eye. And the same thing. Put your thumb on it and make them fold around everything. So it's nice and flat. So we're going to get a nice, clean layback. And there's not going to be some on one side and some on the other. And just, just look over. Look right over top of it. You can see. Then just come back. Clean, don't do that. Just told myself not to do that. Come in here. Now, I'm going to pull this first back. And I want to see, I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have a lot of that stuff sitting back there. Hello, telephone. So I'm going to pull this, and now don't rush this. Pull it nice and tight. Two turns, and now look. Look right over top of it and make sure that that is super clean. There's, there's not, don't have hairs like this over it. You can see that it's, all the hairs are going in one direction. Right? They're not, they're, they're uniform. They're just laid back and they're tied in and they're not, they're not twisted. Now get this stuff out of the way. And this is where you can, you can blend a few of these here and get caught up. So we're going to pull that back. And do the same thing we did with the other one. I'm going to come in here, and before I, I'm just, I'm just using the thread right now just to capture the hairs, and then I'm going to, I'm going to pull with my left hand, my thumb, and my forefinger, and I'm going to pull, and you can see I've, I've cleaned it up, right? There's nothing here. Now look, look, I mean, it takes seconds to do this to make it look really clean. Just come in here and squeeze it down and make sure they're all going straight. Don't have one hair from this side on that side. It isn't going to hurt the fly fish. It's just perfecting your craft so it looks really good. So we're getting here. Everything's, and so I loosened it up. Everything looked good. And now I'm going to tighten it. So I got that one. 
And here's the, this is the kicker, this, this uh, silver, this is polar. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to, right before, before I do anything, I push my thumb down, push right on top, and I look to see how, see how smooth those are, all in one direction. What I don't want to have you do is have it like that, where some's, some's you know, flopping over to the side like that. just looks like crap. So come in here. Just take a second, push your thumb down like that, and make sure they're all right there. See that one right? I don't know if you can see that or not. That one's going to the, off to the side. I don't like it. I, don't, I want it to be nice and flat. So just loosen your thread up a little bit, push your thumb down in it. Now you can see, now what you want to see is just pure silver and white. Just give yourself a clean, clean, clean break. If it, once it's at where you want it, just give it a couple turns. Right there. So we got a nice clean silver head. Two turns, three turns right there. Now get this, these things. There's always going to be with these synthetics, you're always going to see these ardent fibers down here just hanging out. Like, don't worry about it right now. You can clip them up in a second. So come in here. And that's why we left, that's why we left this really long. So these didn't get hung up in the tips. Now I've got a really clean blend right here. I go right straight over the top. Pinching it right there, and I'm going to look right over it to make sure, and again, we're going to broaden that out just a little bit, just don't, and, and that's personal. If you want to, if you want it really skinny, great, if you want to just kind of have it two-tone, I just think it looks cool this way. It's got kind of a, you've got all three colors there, done, flies done. Now, if you wanted to, I used to do this on a lot of mine. We're going to get this all jazzed up here in a second. If you wanted to right now, like I'm, I do this, like I told you earlier, that's why I like this synthetic stuff. You get so many colors. But if you want to just put a, a, a little, like I used to do this to mine. I'd put a red throat on it, right? Like this, big deal. It's just add some more thread right now. I'm not going to do it. I used to do that a lot of them. So come in here. This is a nice, clean, there's a, there's one or two stragglers sitting here, so look everything over. Trim this before you do what I'm going to do next. You always you trim it because I'm going to put the UV. I'm going to put a UV head cement on this and hit it real quick. I don't like. I like to get this trimmed out so I don't have any. I don't do it later and have them stuck it somewhere on it. So when you use this synthetic stuff, I like to just pull it not tight. I just pull it a little bit and I kind of let it. I don't. Clip it like this. I'm not going like this. I kind of let it just make them a little bit rough, you know, like where you cut some here and you just go through it like that. Just take your bore cleaner, what, your brush here, your dubbing brush. Just kind of look it all over. Make sure there's nothing really crazy. Just kind of come in and get the get those out of the way. And you don't really have to do this. I mean, I never did this until the UV stuff came out, but. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to hit it, just, just right over the top, just give it, it just gives it a little bit of durability. Most, I don't, I don't let it go down into the deer hair. I just leave it right on the synthetic only, hit that quick, bingo, and now It'll be easier now to cut your, uh, <clears throat> cut any of these crazy ones in here, out of here. There's one right there that I don't think I can get. So, but what you'll see, you see you get this, it's a really clean little minnow body. Gives you this really tight little body like this. And you don't, you don't need a lot of this synthetic. And that's what I said, you can come in here, if you had too much, you can just keep, you can whittle it away, but it, when this thing's in the water, I'm telling you, this thing is just, there's the craziest thing when I used to, I'm going to do another one, finish this one up real quick. But I just thought, of, when I was fishing these things, I used to fish them on a dry line back in the day. And uh, the craziest thing, the fish would jump on them. They wouldn't, they'd jump up, pop, land on top. I never did figure out what the hell that was, but it, it was pretty cool. <laughs> and they'd usually get the, they'd get it afterwards too. So I'm going to set this one here so you can see what we've got. Got that nice break in that silver and the green gives you and when you look at a minnow that's what you're going to see it's got a, a clean break like that and so 
now I'm gonna, this is one that I, I just wanted to show you the deer here. So at this point, get this thread back on here. At this point, I just cut that up. And so this, was, this would be traditional style with all deer here. And so what I've got, I've tied in, I tied in the, the tan, which is, I had these three colors right here. So I had the tan for uh, the black nose day. Actually, this is a little tanner than I used to use. The black nose days that I did, we used to use the brown hair off the back, you know, right by the top of the tail. But this, now we got all the dyed colors. So I've got the black, that's going to be the middle, the tan's the top, and the white's the already tied in. You can do this, and again, you want to do a 9-3 or a gray ghost style, whatever. Any color you want to do, you get to blend. It's all you got to have is a bucktail. And, but you get these really cool stripes with them. That's, and personally, I think that's a lot to do with uh, trigger points on flies, is when you get that, that stripe, that two-tone, you know, that, that hard break. So I've got, I trapped a few of those tan hairs in there. I'm just trying to keep it right in the middle. This one's a little bit off. Come right over top, and that's, that's just the deer hair style. You're not going to get this, you're not going to be able to get the, well, you could if you really worked at it. You could let this, you could let this black come down into the head too, like that. And then you could keep that on top. I got a little bit too much because, get over there. Uh, it's too much. I'm not going to get it. I wasn't looking for that when I set this up. So that's just how you're, you're going to have your two-tone on your uh, a traditional head. It's just how you lay them down like that. It's the same thing. That one's a little bulbous, but it was just to show you the hair stuff. Anyway, so you got your, that's your black nose day style. I never, in the old days, I never, I didn't glue those things very often. Not with the UV style, but we put it on. But we also used to do, uh, because Keith did it on the first ones I saw, they would paint the eye on it. And so if you're going to do, I mean, nowadays everybody's going to, they're going to stick an eye on it. They're going to use a one. It helps you to build a little bit more bulk into the fly if you're going to do that. So, and then you could just set it right there on the side. But on these, we would just we would go in and we would paint with, you'd, you'd lacquer it a little bit, then you'd paint a uh, model paint, usually you know yellow eye with a little black dot, put a little glue over it off afterwards, and it would usually come off in about one fish. But <laughs> that's all right. So anyway, that's the uh, that is the synthetic version of the. Thunder Creek, this again is a really, really old fly, and it's, it's super fishy, man. This is, it is so fast. I, you know, when I was sitting here waiting for Jeremy to get everything set up, I tied two of these flies in about 10 minutes. It's just, you can just haul through them. They're really, they're really quick, they're really easy. It's a, it's a bulk builder for the fly box. You do two or three colors with, thing, with this thing, and I mean, they, they'll flat out hunt. You'll like it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you out.